So today we're playing a couple of Doctor games and we are elaborating on our Tracker series. With The first one we did was Clown. Today we're playing Doctor and his power is basically built in tracking already. So this should be very good. Now the perks we're going in with, Bloodhound. So blood, um, blood marks are easier to see and they last for four seconds longer. Sloppy Butcher increases the amount that they actually bleed and also slows them down healing. Spies from the shadows. When they walk past the crow and I'm within 36 meters, that crow will tell me where they are. And barbecue and chili, just so I can see them from far away when I hook survivors. The add-ons we're going for is Restraint Carter's Notes. So it reveals survivors always for 3 seconds when their madness increases. And it increases the illusionary doctor's duration so I can still find them when they're far away across the map. And Iridescent Queen, so when they get shocked or static blasted they get a static charge and when they run past somebody else they scream and offering we're just going to get some tiny bit of extra bull points so let's get into tracker doctor okay we are in on hawkins i wonder if anyone actually calls this the underground complex because i'm like 99 percent sure everyone calls it hawkins there's our obsession as well no the hardest part is actually trying to find somebody but we have a tracker doctor i don't want to use my Static blast just yet. Someone's probably up there. They're normally up there. Alright, someone's got to be in terror radius near these two generators. Perfect. Oh, and we can see where they go as well. We know she's hiding behind this. We don't actually have any gen slowdown in this either, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing. No dump. PC players, I think. Oh, there we go. Perfect. They've messed up that gen. They'll probably get through two or three gens pretty quickly. That gen up there is probably nearly there already. Bit of barbecue and chili. Yeah, we'll go to this guy instead. You know what, I'm going to kick this gen first. They need to change how... If a killer kicks a gen... There's one. It regresses four times slower than if a survivor, one survivor is working on it. Someone's probably going for this unhook. I'm probably camping here. You know what? Predator will be good. Yeah, oh, I forgot I had that. Right, we'll find you easy. That gen over there is probably nearly done as well. Static blast everyone nearby. Oh, no. No one else is nearby. But look at the blood. We know exactly where they're going, and they've probably been walking as well. They won't get very far. There's another gen. Yep, I'm a tunnel up. Oh, he messed up, David. He lost about. Oh, he's really messing up the fur pallet. Ooh, TTV big dog. Messed up a couple times there, buddy. Alright, slap you on a hook. There we go. You know what? They're screaming, but I can't actually see them, which is kind of annoying. We know spies from the shadows. Someone's going for the unhook, I think. No, he's up there. Oh, there you are. Yep, more unhook. Oh, wait. Where did you go? Just carried on running, didn't you? Yeah, we ran this way. I don't want to camp, but if you use patrol in it, they've not really got any choice. Right, the shock you to find which way you're going. <laughs> going for the unhook. Very nice. Probably go about this way. I don't want to tunnel, but if you're the first person I see, then I do apologise, but you're getting tunnelled. bad thing with this build is there's no actual slowdown. He's probably got decisive strike, but I'd rather take the five second wait. Never mind, you're not going to decisive strike. You're definitely getting tunneled. <laughs> right. Two people on that gen over there. Let's go and get it. It's probably going to pop very soon, though. Tell you what, this build is actually awful. You don't need tracking perks on Doctor. Although they do, they are very nice to have. I see blood, someone's still around here. For the pallet. Oh, she didn't panic. Oh, she got life, that's why. Oh, 
I can't believe I missed that. Throw the pallet. Yep. That's going to be very, very costly because I missed the swing. There's some of the shadows down there. There should be a hook on the stairs. I didn't really check, though. These games seem very coordinated. They know what they're doing. Yep, there's a hook on the stairs. This is her second hook as well. You need to find that David and get rid of him. There he is, self-carrying. I'm going to let them get that upstairs, Jen, because it's too much effort to go back and patrol. And it's nearly done. Shot the David. Hopefully get him to tier 3. There we go. And you got to snap out of it. I know where you are. Oh, balance landing. Or oh, was that live? One of the two. I thought he had dead hard. All right, we'll get you out. There should be another gen done soon as well. That one they were both working on before. This build though isn't that good. Wait, there's four upstairs gens. There's four gens upstairs. There's someone up here as well. Or was that the David thing? There you are, Jake. You know what? Maybe surveillance over something. I don't know what over. Let's just stack it. Um, static blast. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that's an annoying place to even bother trying to get somebody. This guy's just going to keep running. He knows what he's doing, this guy. Be able to follow his blood. I dip that chase because I think I can catch this girl off guard. Yep. Perfect. Another three hit. Very nice. You should be dead on hook as well. There's the hooks. So I don't want to go for that one. This one's much quicker to go for. Plonk you on that. I've only hooked two people this game. Which is kind of... Not that good. The other two people have managed to get away quite good or hide. Shock, so I get them both. <laughs> they're both tier 3, so they're not going to be able to do anything for a while. Which is also nice. I've not gotten a chase with this girl yet. I don't know how good she is. Those pallets very early. <laughs> very early. That was a waste of a pallet, but it's done again. It's not really a good pallet. Let's throw this one here. She's not looking where she's going. She'll vault that. Yep. I can just bloodlust her. She'll throw this pallet in here. Yep. Oh, you have balanced landing. I'm not shocking because I have bloodlust, by the way. Throw this pallet here. Vault back. Oh, <laughs> so predictable some players. Unlucky though. Plonk you here. I can go round breaking all those pallets, but I kind of want to save them to mess some survivors up. I do know where Hatch is as well. He knows I know where he is. I'm just, actually, I'll break a couple of pallets, some extra brutality points. There we go. Don't know where he is. Oh, wait. There you are. Very nice to know now. And I don't think you'll be able to escape me here. Unless I really mess up. This guy knows not to throw pallets. I'm sure he's smart enough. Good bait. Ooh! I don't think that one should have hit.
I'm just gotta uh, remember though, because where the hatch is in this chase. Because if she kills herself on hook. <laughs> He's doing well, this guy though. Give him that. He's the only one that's massively made me waste time. The other ones I only really wasted time on with my mistake. This guy's doing well. Uh, she's died. Go back to the hatch, unless he gets to that first, which I wouldn't be surprised, because I've actually forgot where hatch is. Ah, I found it. Slam this would probably have adrenaline, as all survivors do. He didn't have adrenaline, I'm surprised me, but because of our add-on, we know exactly where he's at. Look at that, illusionary doctor. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna shock him for some extra points. That's such a good add-on. I don't know why I don't use it more. I usually just use the range add-ons for a doctor. I'm just gonna bloodlust him. <laughs> Give him some extra... What do you call it? I don't have boldness points. Dead hard as well. He saved that. Good bait. I was trying to hope he wouldn't. Okay, that was strange. Well, hopefully he doesn't rage quit. Build. It's a lot harder than I thought. Let's just smack you on this hook. There you go. But I'm happy with this nevertheless. I'm going to go and kick some pallets from extra points. But let's get into the next game. Oh, the worst map in the game for a killer. But obviously I'll see what I can do. Hello AFK. Oh. Never mind. Well, you're not AFK anymore, but... <laughs> Let's just plonk you on a hook. There we go. Thank you for the free hook. There's two people over here at least. Potentially three. Well, I didn't see the third one. Let's just shock them to see where they're going. That gen's probably nearly done. There's three. We know they're going for the unhook now. I'm going to leave that gen. I don't really care about it. I'd rather just set up for a three gen on this map because it's... He's so horrible for killers. I love it as a survivor. Ah. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. You can't hit them when they're like vanishing anymore. Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello. Can I shock you? <laughs> Can I pretend to be friendly? I'm going to pretend to be friendly and get them anyway. And then people, the survivor men, will all start crying. There we go, there's the hit. <laughs> it's funny, so funny though. I do, I do similar things as a survivor. Medium vault. Oh, live again. Everyone seems to have live today. I'll be embarrassed if I actually lose someone in a chase while using these perks as a doctor as well. Look at the speed they get through gens though. That's half done already. You know what, they want to think. I've stopped going for it, surely. Perfect. Knew that'd work. This gen's nearly done as well. You know what? Is there a hook next to that? There's no hook next to that. Oh man, there's no hooks near, really. The speed that you can get through gens as a survivor is incredible. I wish I had teams that efficient. I really do. Most of the time when I get teams, they're just like... Potato, well, apart from the guy who killed himself on hook, but... Okay, if you're gonna do it... <laughs> if you're gonna do it, I'm just gonna shock the floor then. Oh, 
Oh no. I know where you are. You're hiding right there. Why did that not hit? That should not have been thrown. Thing is, because she's not hit, it's going to be harder to track. Obviously, I know where she is. I feel like I might get some hate from some survivor mains in this. <laughs> Two people kill themselves first, Duck. Yay, no balance landing. Now, you will not escape me. You know what would be good? If the grass in Ormond was actually snowy as well. Nope, you didn't wait there. If the grass in Ormond was snowy, that would be really cool. Throw that. Yeah, she thought I was going to carry on going round. That's why I was shocked. Perfect, you can't vault that. Ooh! I actually hate this type of loop. This girl's good though, she knows how to loop it. Or, I just don't know how to counter it. It's the one loop in this game, I don't know how to pr uh, actually run effectively either way. Oh, and there's another one! <laughs> she slew me through a full gen. And I got stuck on that. I will get you. Probably not. There we go, that's the mess up. You know when you waste too long on a certain chase and you regret it? This is that chase. She's doing very well though, but this is what I mean. Ormond, I said it when we start, Ormond is so survivor sided. If you've never seen like my looping killer videos, I normally have an Ormond offering because it's so survivor sided. Because it one loop chains to another loop, chains to another loop. And the pallets are so good on it as well. Like these, there's at least three of those loops. I don't really know how to run them, but if you can run them well, very good. Oh, not another balanced landing. Of course. Why has no one got dead hard today? Oh no, that one uh, Jake. Is this the fourth one of these? That Jake had dead hard last game. It's just literally a chasing simulator. This. Then again, I've not really been playing that properly. There we go. If you remember, I did kind of <laughs> start playing around with the second girl who killed themselves on hook. Right, we'll slap you on a hook. I'm not going to slug. We know where that girl's going because a Bloodhound is such a strong perk. It's very underrated, Bloodhound. Very underrated perk. Hey, look how long her blood stays. Well, I don't know where she is now. But the blood stays for so long. Look, there we know she's going this way. And Sloppy Butcher combination, we can cut her off as well with... Spice from the shadows. If you want to actually pip up, by the way, don't use this build. This is a me build. It's just this focuses on finding survivors, which let's be honest, you don't really need on Doctor. You know what? I think Pallet's still here in Shack. It is. She can loop this for a while. Let's push it the other way. She'll know how to. Oh no! You've really messed up her. You got to throw that. Yep. I'll break that, and we'll go straight to the hook because that is where she is going, unless she knows where Hatch is, and she can get a teammate to kill herself on hook. Come on. She won't be able to get this unhook because I can just shock her before she gets there. Oh, we're going to get another one of these. Is the pallet still up here? You know what? You still doing? She's doing very well. We'll give it her. This. She's doing very well against me. But like, oh, and Hatch is up there as well. And that was where you messed up. If she, I think she could have been able to loot me around this one more time. But the thing is, I don't even know if there's a hook nearby. Oh, there is hook nearby. You know what? <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed in this game because it's not that strong of a build. I thought with a tracker doctor, find well, 
it did what it was meant to do, I'll say that. We found survivors incredibly. I don't really think I'm going to have... Oh, of course, every video. Somebody does that. Every video someone Kobe's. But I've been in a chase in these two games the vast majority of the time. And she showed me where Hatch was as well. So unfortunately for you, you're probably going to have adrenaline. No, you're not. If she has a key, fair enough. She'll probably have decisive strike. Most people do. She does. You can run away. There we go. So the strike. Decisive. Does she have a key? No. She would have opened that. Or does she have a key? I don't know what you're doing. Unlucky, though. But yeah. I'll get back to what I'm saying. Majority of these last two games, I have known where survivors are. And I've been able to... I, I've been in a chase the vast majority of these two games. So I don't really think I'll edit much of this video. Because I've been in chases. That's for Kobe. <laughs> That's just for Kobe. <laughs> Every video, someone does it. At least one person. We have three in my Myers video. But I'm very happy with that. It's a very good... Good build if you like chases. I barely even block people though, because these aren't the normal add ons I have, but I'm very happy with this. <laughs> that's like the lowest score I have seen in a very long time. He had a, I mean, he had a white ward, maybe that's why he gave up, but. Oh, that's a bit. That's embarrassing. So that was Tracker Doctor, and it was actually very enjoyable because we're in a chase like 99% of the actual game so I don't really think I'll edit much if any of the videos because I don't I don't tend to edit chases out I even normally edit if I'm looking for a survivor for a very long time but I thought it was very very good and the two add-ons as well in the first game we saw that Jake who was at the door because of our add-on we could see him because of the illusionary doctor but I enjoyed this I hope you guys enjoyed this too and as always thank you for watching